This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm here at the Snapdragon 820 launch event in New York, and I actually just got to go hands-on with a new 820 tablet reference design. It was showing off the Adreno 530 GPU in a 3D environment where we got to turn on and off the shadows and play around with some other cool features. So we'll get into that in a minute. Now, if you're not familiar with what's going on on the Snapdragon 820, well, it's supposed to have better battery life. Uh, the heat issues are meant to be resolved, but we'll have to get real world devices before we can confirm all of this. But one of the cool things, one of the few cool things that are coming, we're getting quick charge three, USB three, and as well as X12 LTE, which if you care about that kind of stuff, you can get up to 600 megabits per second download. So we're talking really, really, really fast. So there are some cool things coming up on the horizon, but one of the interesting things that I didn't really realize uh, uh, that was a huge focus of the 820 is around virtual reality. So this was one of the key features that they were pushing forward that VR is going to be a big part of the 820 experience. So let's go hands on with the tablet and check out what it's actually capable of. So this is not an end device. This is not what it's going to look like when it comes to market, but it kind of gives you an example of what is coming down the pipeline. So we have a 21 megapixel camera on the back where they've actually been showing us in a couple of the sessions how good it is on low light. Just taking a walk around the system, you can see we have a headphone jack here. There are speakers up and down the side. At one of the other demos, I actually got to check out how these front-facing speakers were in play. Qualcomm on the A20 is actually very focused on having surround sound type audio on tablets like this. So you can turn off uh, their software. Now if we keep walking around the tablet, you can see we have a USB 3 connector here and a mini HDMI. So what we're checking out on this tablet is an architectural visualization. And do you actually, do you want to tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here? We are seeing a uh, demo done uh, from uh, the Advanced Content Group at Qualcomm. This is a architectural walkthrough. Uh, the software is based on Unreal Engine 4, uh, which we've ported to our mobile platform, uh, taking advantage of the performance of the Adreno 530 GPU. Excellent. So one of the things that is most impressive about this is the use of light and shadows. So here we're taking a look at a different tablet where we can turn on and off uh, the shadows and the reflections. So you can see there, there, there they are there along the bottom. It's pretty much just the reflections, screen space reflections. Screen space reflections. So what does this actually mean for the end consumer? Uh, we anticipate that with the ability to uh, use uh, high sophisticated engines like Unreal Engine 4, that more realism, more uh, visualization effects will be possible in mobile hardware. Perfect. So this has just been a quick look at what the 820 has coming down the pipeline. We can expect to see it next year in all of our devices. And the other thing that I do want to mention is that I've been hearing a lot about how uh, virtual reality is going to be something that is a heavy focus for the 820. So I'm going to be very excited to see how something with this type of detail is going to affect how we augment our reality. So here's another really cool feature from the 820. If you look at the display itself, and when we bring the light down onto the ambient light sensor, it actually brightens up the display, but not only the display, the actual image. So to make it a little more visible uh, when you're using it outdoors. So it's not just about nits, it's actually about the quality of the graphic on the display. So this is also something that's different for the 820.